Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. We do this every week. Uh, one of our tech gurus from around the country shares how uh, athletic directors can use technology. Uh, before we get going with today's tech tip, uh, we want to thank our podcast partners, We Coach and the Global Community of Women in High School Sports. And we want to give a quick shout out to each of our sponsors. We want to say thanks to Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack for sponsoring the AD Toolbox segment of the podcast. Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack are a quick, easy, and affordable way for you to collect comprehensive data that allows you to evaluate and improve your entire athletic program. At my schools, we use surveys for just about everything, for teachers, for coaches, for kids, and for parents. And the information that would come back was almost always positive, and it'll be the same for you. But surveys also allow that squeaky wheel parent to vent a little bit. And sometimes they'll share a small issue that you can address and keep it from turning into a big issue because you didn't know about it because you hadn't done a survey. Go to athleticsurveys.com or email them at info at, at athleticsurveys.com to get started. If you've never used a survey to take the pulse of your parents or your student athletes, you're really missing out. Talk to the pros at Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack and let them help you take your athletic program from good to great. We also want to say thanks to the good folks at Final Forms. Go to finalforms.com slash Jake and see all the things that they can do for you and your program. Final Forms can help your parents uh, with reminders about policies, about physicals, and all the forms that come when you have an athlete in the house. Final Forms can help your coaches with attendance and communication. And for you as an athletic director, Final Forms can help you with eligibility, with rosters, and all the reports that come across your desk. You know, it's time that you talk to a team that's walked in your shoes. To take the next steps, go to finalforms.com slash Jake and find out how you can get started with the Final Forms program. We also want to say thanks to Huddle. Go to huddle.com and join the 200,000 teams who use Huddle to help their athletes play better. Huddle has the tools to help your coaches, your athletes, and your teams play at their highest level. And Huddle's going to provide a complete professional-grade solution to those challenges that you and your coaches face. At Huddle, we believe in sports and teams believe in Huddle. Join the 6 million users and find out how your school can become a huddle school. That's huddle.com. We also want to thank Gipper. Go to gipper.com and find out how athletic directors and coaches are creating world-class marketing content for their school's social media channels. You can do it in seconds on any device and you don't need any design experience. Go to gipper.com Tell them you heard about it on the podcast and use the podcast code ADPOD10 and get 10% off. That's gipper.com. Create custom branded content for your school's social media channel. We want to say thanks to Snap Mobile. Go to onsnap.com. That's onsnap.com and check out their entire suite of platforms. Our coaches have used Snap Raise with great success. And there's even an option to get your money before you actually start your fundraiser. Snap Spend is their money management platform. Snap Store allows you to order custom spirit gear. Snap Connect is their multilingual family engagement platform. And Snap Manage uh, will help you design an entire website. You can find it all at onsnap.com. That's onsnap.com. We want to say thanks to Hometown Ticketing, the leading digital ticketing provider to schools and colleges. Go to hometownticketing.com. They will show you how to sell your tickets online and scan the attendees that come to your game. They'll also show you how to collect your revenue. And every step of the way, you'll have a dedicated client success manager providing hands-on support. That's every step of the way. At hometownticketing.com, they'll also show you how to sell your tickets for things like school dances, school plays and concerts, even graduation. You'll find it all at hometownticketing.com. We also want to say thanks to Wall of Fame by Vital Signs. You know, they're on a mission to bring your school's legacy to life. Check out their 
interactive touchscreen consoles and their library of templates, which will help you recognize the athletic achievements of your students, both past and present. Go to vitalsignswalloffame.com and let them help you showcase your school's diverse history and your proudest moments. You can also email them at sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com for more information. That's sales at vitalsignswalloffame.com. And we want to say thanks to Sideline Interactive, indoor scoring tables and video boards. Go to sidelineinteractive.com and schedule a live web demo to see their tables and boards in action. They not only generate income for your department, but they also create the ultimate game day experience for your student athletes. You can see exactly what their fantastic products can do by emailing them at sales at sidelineinteractive.com. That's sales at sidelineinteractive.com. You won't be disappointed. Welcome back, everyone, to Tech Tuesday on the Educational AD Podcast. Our guest today is a familiar name, Scott Payne. Uh, Scott is a certified master athletic administrator. He's a longtime AD. He's also the founder of his own consulting company, Athletic Tech. He's on the NIAAA's national faculty for their two technology courses, very active in the profession, and we were very fortunate to have him back with us again today on Tech Tuesday. Scott Payne, welcome back, and what do you have for our listeners this week on Tech Tuesday? Absolutely, Jake. Happy Tuesday, everybody. I uh, So like I started a few episodes ago that we're diving deep into uh, the Google workspace, today I'm going to branch off of the Google apps and go into Google Keep. So this is an app within the workspace. You can get it on your phone. You can do it on your computer. It syncs between the two, um, but it is a note-taking and to-do app. Uh, there's a lot of these types of apps out there. I mean, I could name off quite a few that you can go get, and they're all free. Um, I'm sticking with the Google one just because it integrates with all your Google workspace apps. So it's easier to use if you have a Gmail. It's easy to use if you obviously use Docs or Sheets or Slides. Um, but the cool part of Google Keep uh, the big part for it is, is right. It, you can just jot down notes very quickly with very little friction. You can literally click the app, click add, do your note, off you go. You can do those whether you want to type it, whether you're taking a picture of something, or you even just need to do an audio recording really quick and just have it saved somewhere, right? Your brain is made for thinking and coming up with visions and whatnot, but the point is, is you have to write those down. Your brain doesn't have doesn't have the capacity to always store those ideas. And I have to think on, on a daily basis, you probably have great ideas or projects or something that you're like, oh my gosh, I, I need to do this. And then you forget to jot it down. Well, nowadays everyone has their phone in their pocket or in their hand or with, probably within an arm's distance away from, one, from you. Uh, you grab that, you click the app, you click add, and you just do whatever you need to to add that thought. Uh, for the athletic director though, what's really cool with this is you can make to-do lists or checklists. And I hopefully most of your brains just went to, oh my gosh, game day checklists, setup checklists. Um, and what's cool about it is you can make those checklists reoccurring, right? You can check off the, the task and then it'll show up again. Uh, what makes that very easy is say you have someone else doing your setup for you at an event. You can share your checklist with that person and you don't have to print out a piece of paper. You don't have to worry about them losing it. And they can do, they can follow as in depth as you want to make these checklist to do's for them on, on the app, on their phone, and you can share it with them very, very easily. And what that allows you to do is maybe you did get a chance to offset a, a supervision one night for football or basketball or volleyball. And, and the setup is a little more intense or something along those lines, that person can easily have that checklist available to them and, and, and walk through that. You can do the same thing for say you have secretaries or someone that at least helps you organize your athletic department. Um, you can make, you know, weekly or monthly, checklist that, you know, okay, in October, we go through these things, we host a, you know, name a girl soccer event or a volleyball tournament or something. And there's checklists for that to make sure that your department's running on, on its highest efficiency. The cool part about Google keep again, it's within the Google workspace. It like, say you have an email and you're like, Hey, I need to remember to do this in it. You can literally just have keep is on the sidebar of your Google Gmail 
and you would just hit the little light bulb that's in, I think it's gold on the right side of your screen. And you can just say copy email and put it as a to-do. And you can then say, you know, I need it done by Tuesday and it'll tag it for you in your Keep app and then remind you uh, that you need to do that. So there's a lot of integrations. You can get pretty deep into this, uh, but it is a free tool that is in the workspace of Google that easily can make your life a little bit easier and save you from having to print out some checklists or, or whatnot and utilizing those workflows with your own athletic department staff, coaches, and and those that help you out on a weekly basis. You know, um, this is the third time you know you've talked about Google, and again, I shared this before. I was very fortunate to be at a Google school uh, and got a lot of training uh, with this, and still probably didn't you know scratch the surface of all the things that it it, it could have helped me when I was an active AD. Um, what are some ways that um, ADs and and certainly we want to um, give out your contact information, you know, so they can get you and pick your brain. We'll do that later on. But what are some ways that ADs can avoid, uh, you know, maybe there's that apprehension of getting involved, but then after they they take that first dip uh, in the water, uh, what are ways that they can prevent getting overwhelmed by all the different uh, parts of the platform that are out there? Uh, any advice? Yeah, I think, you know, know what your need is for, you know, what's a what's a friction point for you? What is something that is a barrier that you are like, I need to be more efficient in this? And I think if you, you can figure out that problem first or that issue for you, uh, you can then scratch the surface of each of the products that, that come there. So like for Google Keep purposes, since that's what we're talking about, like say you do have an issue with not always having everything organized or done in a month. Um, whether that's you or you and your secretary or you and an assistant or all three combined, you know, you can make a checklist that allows you to free up that capacity of having to remember. And you can have it, you know, set to your computer to send you the reminder or to your phone and show you the the banner that's, hey, you know, this is due by Friday or this is due tomorrow or we need to have this organized by so long. And, and it takes away that extra stress level of, you know, did I forget something? Uh, you can literally put your brain down into Google Keep. And again, you can scratch the surface of it for that initial fric friction point barrier, if you if you will, uh, to help you out with that. And some people just need something to jot down. And trust me, I was sticky notes until I, I learned Google Keep. And I mean, it was multicolored because I'm a type one personality. So I mean, sticky notes were everywhere. And if I had the red ones or a pink one or a purple one, like those were always priority ones and they were based on other things, you can make it way easier for yourself uh, to ensure that you're just getting everything down by looking, you know, utilizing a, a to-do app like Google Keep uh, so that your brain can take maybe a little bit of a break and you can also not be as stressed all the time uh, with trying to remember things. Yeah, great, great advice. Well, let's go and give out that contact information. If one of our listeners and listeners, I really encourage you to do so. One of our listeners wants to reach out, pick your brain a little bit more. What's your website? What's the best way they can get a hold of you? Yeah, uh, my my consulting stuff again is, is super freelance. I uh, I don't. It's not. It's not a. Uh, it's not a career here for me on that one. It's just fun for me to help help do the tech side with athletic directors and administrators. Uh, my website is athleticconsulting.com. So that's athletic without the C. And then uh, I have a, a, an email for that as well. It's athletatechconsulting at gmail.com. You can also do my personal email. Either of those will take you to my inbox. Payne, P-A-I-N-E, period, Scott at gmail.com. And then I'm on, I'm always on social media. So LinkedIn, I think is at Coach Scott Payne, but you can find me Scott Payne on, on LinkedIn. And then uh, my Twitter is at Coach Payne. Coach Payne. So you can easily find me on those as well. And I, I respond very quickly. So if you reach out to me, I'll make sure I, I respond to you pretty uh, as fast. I mean, it's it's within a day, I guarantee it, <laughs> that I'll, I'll start getting back out to you. So and I'm happy to walk you through any of the stuff that I've talked about so far, as well as obviously Google Keep. And I would also put out uh, to Jake's point, you know, how how can you get into it if maybe you are, you know, like, oh my gosh, this does so much. I would bet odds that someone in your athletic league or someone even in your school district or a coach probably already uses Google and maybe already uses Keep. And I would I would maybe put out a feeler just to see if someone really within a one degree of you already knows how to use that and can show it to you um, in, in person outside of myself. I'm happy to do that as well. But I bet you there's someone around you that might already use it and would probably be very happy to help you um, get it set up and going. And that's a great way to expand your athletic director network as well. So uh, 
Absolutely. Scott Payne, uh, you know, again, always great to have you on the show. Uh, you know, appreciate everything you do for the profession. Um, thanks so much for being on uh, Tech Tuesday. Hey, my pleasure, Jake. Hey, welcome to the sport of technology. Let's get you in the game. For our listeners, remember the Zoom recordings of every interview get uploaded to the Educational AD Podcast YouTube channel. We appreciate you listening today. Come back next Tuesday for more tech tips and just about every day on the Educational AD Podcast. We will see you next time. Before we go, we do need to thank our sponsors, um, Wall of Fame by Vital Science, Final Forms, uh, Snap Mobile, Huddle, Hometown Ticketing, Gipper, Athletic Surveys by Lifetrack, and Sideline Interactive Indoor Scoring Tables and Video Boards. Go to their booths, uh, you know, go to their websites. And uh, thanks again for listening to the Educational AD Podcast.